Roll. All right. For the record, tell me your name and your publication. Matt Thurber, Aviation International News. You just got out of the A29 Super Tucano, aka the EMB 314. First reaction? Fun. You went up here at uh, EAA Air Venture 2012, sort of the A29's coming out party as far as U.S. air shows is concerned. It was a pretty night. What did you see and what did you experience? Well, I'm sure I'm lucky to get to fly such a cool airplane, especially out of greatest air show in the world. And we took off, flew over the lake, formed up with the Bonanza for a photo shoot. Over the clouds, the sun was shining, the sky was blue, the clouds were puffy, it was just perfect. And the airplane handles fantastically. This aircraft is sort of mission built. It has a very specific mission. You're familiar with that mission and you're familiar with what it's intended to do. Talk to us a little bit about what it is to be in a, in a staggered seat, the kind of area of view that you have in the rear seat on the Super Tucano. Well, I'm a flight instructor, so I can imagine teaching from the back seat, and you do have a good view over the front, and it works out very well that way. Now, uh, it sits a lot higher up off the ground than uh, the, the T6 Charlie. You've had a chance to fly them both. Riff for me for a second. Uh, what, how, do you, how do you think about the two of them? Are they a little bit different? Or are they the same? What's your inclination? Well, I wasn't sure what to expect in the Super Tucano because it's a bigger airplane. But it handles beautifully. The controls are harmonious. Ailerons and elevators work together perfectly. You can just put it right where you want it. And it really feels like a smaller airplane. It doesn't feel that big, except when you're on the ground. That's when you really notice the difference. One of the things that people have said to me, and I'm not a, a flight instructor or a pilot, is that the 1600 shaft horsepower engine, the Pratt & Whitney that's on both of these two aircrafts, uh, the AT6 and the, and the A29, that somehow this one just doesn't have any throttle uh, issues. They just get more of the horsepower with the longer empennage. What does that mean to a pilot? Well, the the responsiveness of the engine is is very fast and it does what you need when you tell it to tell it to go and boy does it go now you guys took off it seemed to me in a very short runway and we're right up there what was it like as you guys were going up well we rotated about 100 knots lifted the nose off the ground it just flew off flew off by itself just beautifully nice and easy i didn't have to tell it to do anything i just i just basically let it go and it climbed really fast. Um, one of the things I've also heard about this aircraft, I was wondering what you would say, is uh, its its ability to handle austere runway. I, I know you, we, did, we were on a, a, a paved, prepared runway surface here, but this plane is a lot bigger in terms of its uh, landing gear and its tires. Do you feel that when you land as a pilot compared to what you normally fly? Well, it does. You do feel that, and it's. It's solid. It's it's uh, you can feel the strength in it. It doesn't feel like a it doesn't feel like a weak airplane. Like something's gonna break. All right, we appreciate your time. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Just you know, from your experience, having gone up uh, up in the aircraft. Yeah, I'd like to fly it some more. <laughs> All right, thanks, Matt.